Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Up on the hype train of the Super Nintendo Classic Edition, we do have an NES Classic Edition theme for Emulation Station within RetroPie. So this is from Ruckage. He also did the NES Mini theme. And if you remember that theme, I still use it occasionally. I, th I think it's pretty slick. You know, it's reminiscent of the NES Mini. Whereas this, similar style, but a little more poppy, a little more retro, uh, you know, a little more stylized, which is kind of the progression from the NES Mini to the Super Nintendo Mini. You know, the, the user interfaces between those two kind of changed a little bit. So this is kind of popping and, and looks really excellent to me. Um, this is not the final release. It does not appear. It's something he's been working on for a while. Um, I have played with this, kind of, you know, peeping it out here and there. I've followed some of the progress on it and, you know, figured, hey, you know what? Why not share this and throw it out there for people to be aware of? And I'll put a link in the description on how and where you can download this. The cool thing is, is that he made this a very customizable theme. And within... Like my Facebook group, for example, link in the description if you want to join. A lot of cool stuff going on over there. A lot of people have been taking themes, mis mismashing them, and 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 making them their own. Well, not really their own, but you know what I mean. You know, changing them up and customizing them, and 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 doing special, unique things with them. Which a lot of the creators who make these themes, you know, they dig that. You know, it's they're putting this stuff out there for us to use. And when people are taking some freedoms and, and, and customizing them and showcasing, hey, this is, you know, some cool stuff we can do, I think that's awesome. Ruckage with this theme, he has put out with it. If you download it, it does come with a customization guide. So you can read that text file, peep it out. And there's a lot of different backgrounds you can change, the overlay you can change between different versions of the Super Nintendo it's really cool that, you know, he's guiding you in that direction on how to customize the theme to your liking. So there is a guide for that to change things up with what's included, which is pretty cool. This theme, so far looking at it, like I said, is very reminiscent of the NES Mini theme. But it does have that cool neon background that I'm, I'm really digging. A lot of people lately are working on themes that use that aesthetic, and I think it's sweet. It's It's... It's, it really screams, you know, 80s, 90s, you know, style. And I think that's pretty awesome. Looking at this bad boy, though, just getting some of the details. In our custom game collections, we do have our all games favorites and last played. Pretty standard nowadays. Custom game collections, those are collections that either you have put together yourself within custom collections. Or if you had a collection that was supported by another theme that there was actually elements for that, you know, the images and whatnot, say Donkey Kong, for example. Say the theme creator made a custom collection um, a system select that had artwork and all that for Donkey Kong, and then you go to another theme that doesn't have it, it'll just put it in your custom game collections with the newer update of Emulation Station. So looking at this, there, you know, these are all my collections that either I have put together myself or are supported in a previous theme that I've been using. Now, going into this, this at the moment does not have any special themes. Um, I don't know if he has any plans of adding anything to this, but digging through it, there are no special custom collection themes within this theme. So that's that's one thing. He may add them. Who knows? I think it's a missed opportunity if, if we don't have an NES or Super Nintendo mini, you know, collection on there, you know, you could have a nice little icon with that. I think that would be pretty cool, especially with all the hype going on right now. But you could always set up your own custom game collection for that, which I have done. Um, I know Mr. Harrius's uh, Super Display has those included, which is pretty cool. On here, though, the one issue, not a, not a huge issue, not a huge issue, but... Even then, there is no artwork for custom collections, so you just get this this little blacked out, um, you know, thing that says collections. It, it, it's 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 okay. It works. You know, you get the little sound effects, you know, scrolling through, which is kind of cool. But I'm I'm really digging, you know, the style 
the style of this overall. Hope, hoping that, you know, with some updates to this, we'll have at least the custom game collection icon on there. I can do without having all the extra collections. It, it'd be nice to use this almost like a favorites, you know, like how I have it set up right now. Capcom, Castlevania, CPS 1, 2, and 3, Donkey Kong, Final Fantasy. You, know, you go into Final Fantasy, you have every Final Fantasy. You know, it's just almost one other way to do favorites. Um, you know, there's tons of different things you can do with these themes and, and with emulation station in general nowadays. So, you, you know, I, I, I like custom collections. I really dig custom collections just to set up my own little favorites, essentially. But you could always, you know, go in the favorites and put in Pepsi Man if you so choose. Um, but that's that's the only thing that I could, you know, if I'm going to be critical, and I'm not a very critical person, which some of you that know me that have asked me for feedback, it's sometimes kind of hard to be like, oh, yeah, I don't like this. It, it's You know, if there's something glaring, I'll point it out. But most of the time I'm content with, with things that are given to me, especially if they work. If they don't work, I'll let you know, hey, there's a problem with this. But like I said, my only concern is that I don't have a logo for custom collections. That's That's something... I would like to have to be able to keep this as a you know cohesive altogether theme for what I'm using it for but right now it's still cool without that you could always just turn that off you know you can go in and just get rid of the custom collections not even have that show and you'll be all right if you ungroup it there'll be a bunch of these you know for each one of your collections it'll put each one Donkey Kong Metal Slug whatever and it'll all be the black letters which you know that's not going to look cool but yeah, that's where it's at. I, I'm digging this theme. Um, he's so narrow. I wonder why I don't have the artwork for that. Very strange. Very strange. Need to fix some things. Um, but you know, th this looks cool. Box art or screen grab, whatever you have on the left. Information on the right. Very readable. You know, you have that eight-bit um, boxy font, which you know looks very nice and is readable. That's the main thing. It's readable. The white font with the 8-bit, you know, I'm not sure what the font name is. I haven't dug into the theme to look. But the white font on these backgrounds and the white font on the game select with the game select being in the middle, very readable. I have no issue. I think if you would do it black, if the font was black, you wouldn't be able to read it as well. So white pops. It kind of pops and makes it easier to read. So I'm digging that. I'm really digging that. These are the custom collections. Pretty cool stuff, and I like the icons on the top. But like I said, you can change this theme if you go through the customization guide. Pretty cool stuff. So, yeah, I mean, what else can you say? You know, with the, the, the SNES Classic just dropping a few days ago, and some people not even wanting to bother, which that's cool. You know, everybody's got their, their own views and opinions. If you don't want a Super Nintendo Mini, but you still love Super Nintendo this might be the theme for you you know what i mean make your own mini classic edition put the systems and the games that you want i think it's pretty slick man be quite honest with you i'm digging this one i'm gonna i'm gonna put this in uh in my top five favorites no particular order i can never rank them exactly but there's definitely themes that i just don't care for and you know i'm not gonna publicly bash any theme but there's definitely top five or so for me maybe i'll go over that one day but it's always changing because there's always so many themes coming out but definitely this one for me top five especially with that aesthetic of the neon and the you know that retro styling in the background is really cool and the possibilities of customizing this a little bit you know with a written guide you know for those who aren't savvy enough to go in and change things you have a written guide on hey these are the options you have this is how you tweak things Go at it, bro. So that's pretty cool, man. If you need any help installing this, I do have previous videos showing how to install themes that are not within the ES Themes gallery. But it's pretty much easy. What you're going to want to do is download the file, get the folder that has the name of the theme, and then once you open that, you know, you'll have all the elements to the theme in there. Take that top folder and either use WinSCP or however you choose to access your Pi from your PC, get into the emulation station directory where it says themes, drop it in there, boom. 
easy. Now you'll have the option to select this theme. Another way to do it, which is, you know, kind of the, it's sluggish, but sometimes, you know, I would have issues connecting or doing certain things. And I used to do this a lot. I would just drop it, you know, go into networks, find, you know, my RetroPie without using WinSCP, just network through the PC, jump on the RetroPie, find, you know, whatever folder and just drop it in there, get on the Pi, go to the RetroPie configuration file manager, and then swap it that way and then delete the original. And, you know, you have access that way. But using WinSCP is a lot easier. If you have any question with that, hit me up in the comments down below. I'll try to help you out the best I can. But it's pretty simple, guys. A lot of tutorials out there. Hopefully this will be up in the ES Themes gallery pretty soon. But from what I understand, it's still kind of a work in progress. Um, it's, it's complete to me other than we need to at least have those custom collection logo on here. At least that. I mean... Mm, you know, if not, cool, we can do without it, but at least that, that would be nice. But I hope you guys appreciate checking this out. Just wanted to share this, you know, give you guys a heads up. Smash that like button if you could. Subscribe if you're not already. Check out my Amazon giveaway for the Super Nintendo uh, Playing with Superpower book through Amazon. That's an Amazon giveaway. Link will be in the description, so boom, go over there. If you win, Amazon's going to send it direct to you, paid for by me, so don't trip. That's it. Catch you guys next time. Boom!